Hi, uh, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. This is just an introductory video uh, that's going to cover the installation of S2 member and getting it initially configured to work with your site. What we've got here is the default installation of WordPress 3.0. Uh, this installation is just running on a default on the default theme for WordPress 3.0, which is the 2010 theme, and it has no plugins installed. S2 member will work with any theme. Uh, you'll notice that on our website we have an S2 clean theme that has been pre-integrated uh, in more advanced ways for the S2 member plugin, but it's not a requirement. Uh, you can use it with any theme; uh, it doesn't really matter. So the first step here is to go ahead and install S2 member. We're going to do that by going to the plugins menu and going to add new. And all we do here is just type in S2 member and click search and that will pull up S2 member. Uh, whenever you click the install now link, that what this does is it will download the S2 member plugin, the latest version from the plugins repository at wordpress.org. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Click install now and you just click OK here to confirm that's what you want to do. If you should get any errors during this process of the, the file being downloaded, uh, what you'll want to do instead is upload uh, the S2 member plugin directly through your FTP program. Some shared hosting platforms are uh, limited in terms of how much memory or uh, how much time they can consume on the server. And so since S2 member is a larger plugin, it's a fairly common thing to, to run into an error here where it says, you know, uh, WordPress has exceeded its limit or uh, your hosting provider coming back and just giving you a white screen that says timeout has been exceeded. If that happens, it's, it's a pretty common thing. You just install the plugin through FTP. Uh, what you can do in that case is just go to WordPress.org. Uh, you click on the Extend tab where it says Plugins. You search here for S2 member. And you pull it up directly on the WordPress site and you, you download the plugin, the zip file to your computer. You unzip it and then you upload the S2 member folder to the WP content slash plugins directory um, in your web space. So that would be a manual installation. And, and once you once you upload the file, then you'll be back into a situation where you just activate the plugin through WordPress again. So what we've got here is we did this automatically through WordPress and WordPress downloaded the file and zipped it and did all of that for us automatically. And now we just click activate. And that's great. It's been installed and it says 3.1.5. That's the latest version at the time of this video. And it tells us we need to read the quick start guide. Okay, I'm not going to cover the quick start guide in detail in this video. Uh, this quick start guide is here in case I've forgotten to cover something in this video. Or if, if there is something that you have that you have a question about and you'd like a little more detail about, this, these, this documentation here in the quick start guide will help to clarify anything that might be confusing. One of the things that will become obvious right off the bat after you read the quick start guide uh, is that you need to create two pages. So instead of going straight to the S2 member options, instead we're going to start by adding two new pages. Those are the login welcome page and the membership options page. And we'll just do this in a generic fashion right now. Uh, it's not important right now what is in these pages. Uh, so we're just putting a placeholder here for right now. What's important is that you just get these pages into WordPress so that S2 member will have access uh, to these to these two pages so that we can configure S2 member initially. So we just click publish. And then we add another page. And that is our membership options page. And click publish. So now if I go to my list of pages, I'm clicking pages, I'll see that I have a login welcome page and a membership options page. Now the login welcome page is the first page that a member would be automatically redirected to upon logging into your site. 
So if I go to the login screen, I log in as a member to your site, this is the page that S2 member will automatically redirect that, that member or customer or user or free subscriber to this page. The membership options page is the page that would serve as your sign up page. But it has it's sort of a focal point for the whole S2 member installation because the membership options page is also the page that S2 member will redirect anyone in the general public who is not logged into your site. They will, S2 member will redirect those people who do not have access to protected areas of your site automatically to redirect them to this page. So that if you have a page that you've protected with S2 member and I'm on your site and I'm not logged in and I click that a link. Uh, somewhere up in the navigation bar on your site, um, I would be automatically redirected to the membership options page where you as the site owner should detail uh, to tell me that I need to have membership to access uh, this uh, protected area of your site and we should provide details about what membership access to your site includes. And this is also the page where I will put my PayPal uh, buttons. And S2 member provides that for you here in the list, Pender PayPal buttons. It has a little PayPal button generator and all you do is you get short codes from S2 member, and you just paste them into this page, and then you can dress up the page however you see however you see fit. If you want to put two or three different types of buttons for two or three different types of membership, uh, then that's fine. That's great. S2 member supports um, a level zero, which is for free subscribers where they don't have to pay anything to get in, and then it also supports four paid levels. So you have a lot of options available. Uh, it also provides some additional advanced uh, custom capabilities, and we'll get into that in a later video. So now that we've got these two pages in, let's go ahead and go back down to S2 Member General Options. And in the General Options panel, we'll see that there is a Login Welcome Page section and a Membership Options Page section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this bar here. This expands this menu downwards so that I can access the Configuration panel. And all I do is just select Login Welcome Page from the drop-down. And that's it. I collapse this menu and then move to the next one and select Membership Options Page. So you can see these two pages are a requirement for having S2 Member installed and configured. And so I created those first so that I could come here and configure S2 Member to, to know which two pages in WordPress I want it to use as those two special pages. I just scroll down to the bottom now and click Save Changes. Okay. Now, in this introductory video, I think it's also important to, to just touch on quickly how to protect content with S2 member and then demonstrate that for you. So we're going to go ahead and create one additional page just as an example, and we'll call it protected page. Now, when you initially create this page, this goes into WordPress just like any other page, even though I've titled it Protected Page, it's, it's really not when it first goes in. Uh, so I click Publish here, and it goes in just like any other page. And then what I want to do is I want to go back to my list of pages and find that page in the list and hover over the link. And when you hover over these links, you'll notice that in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, in the status bar, there is a link and it has in it post equals 36. What that's telling me is that this page has an ID inside WordPress of 36. And I need to know what the ID of this page is because I need to tell S2 member to protect page ID 36. Now, while we're on this topic, this is not exactly user friendly to have to hover over these links and find the ID in the status bar. There is another plugin that I've written that's called WP Show IDs. And you can install it the same way we just installed S2 Member. You just go to Plugins, Add New. And if you install it, it's real lightweight. And all it does is it just shows the ID of each page of your posts, of your categories, links, media. It'll pop the ID into the list so that it's much more user friendly and easier to access. And I highly recommend that, especially if you're installing S2 Member for a client. Uh, it makes the entire experience a little easier. Um, this a, that's a feature I, I feel is, is lacking in, in the core WordPress framework. It really, it really should have the ID in here uh, for scenarios just like this one. But anyway, you can install that plugin and that'll, that'll supplement uh, what WordPress is lacking at the current time. So now that we know the page ID 
of this page, which is 36. I'm going to go back down to S2 Members General Options. And I'm going to scroll down to Page Access Restrictions. And although S2 Members supports lots of different levels, all we're going to focus on right now is level number one. Okay, uh, we'll cover these other levels and how to configure these levels in, a, in another video. But for right now, we're just going to demonstrate how to protect uh, at the first level. Level zero is for free subscribers. Um, so, and it's designated a special level uh, for free subscribers. This is the first paid level for membership. So we'll just type in 36. That's the ID of that protected page. Now, if I had other pages I want to protect, I would just comma delimit those IDs like you see here in the example. So right now we're just putting in 36. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. And that's it. Uh, that's S2 Member is now installed. You can see it's pretty simple. Uh, and at a basic fundamental level, S2 Member is now fully functional. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that by logging out. One of the things you'll notice once S2 Member is installed is that your, your WordPress login panel is different. It puts the S2 Member logo up here and it cleans this up, it kind of gives it more of a generic feel. Uh, it gets rid of the WordPress link and it gets rid of the WordPress logo. And in the S2 Members General Options, you can set the logo image, you can set the background color, background image, if you had a texture, you can, you can rebrand this login page to match the front end of your site. And this, this panel here not only serves as the login page, but it also serves as, as your registration form. Um, so we'll get into that in another video, but just to to make that make you aware of that because one that's one of the first things you'll notice the first time you log out after installing S2 member is that this this built-in login system for WordPress has now been equipped with uh, some new capabilities that are customizable through S2 member. So now we're going to demonstrate what we've just configured by going back to the, the site itself on the front side of the site, which is just powered again by the 2010 default theme for WordPress 3.0. And if I click on this protected page and try to, I'm not logged in anymore, remember I just logged out, so if I click on this page, it doesn't take me to that page. Instead, S2 member has been configured to block access to that page because I'm not logged in with membership level one access. So instead it redirects me to the membership options page. And so on this page you would detail, okay, membership comes with check this feature, check that feature, check this feature. And then at the bottom of that, you might have a PayPal button. You can do whatever you like here. Uh, you might even want to pop uh, like the membership options page link out of your menu, customize this. These pages are, are built in and, and configured dynamically, and, and they're redirected automatically by a student. They don't have to be in your menu. So you, like, for example, the login welcome page is protected automatically. Uh, S2 member will not allow access to the login welcome page unless you are logged in. So. This page could just be taken out of the menu completely if you like, or it could be integrated into your sidebar. Uh, you might even want to put, like you could take the membership options page out of your menu and instead do a direct link to this page over here in your sidebar somewhere and do like a little, like a little promotional advertisement that says sign up now, you know, $24.95 a month, whatever it is that you'd like to charge. Uh, and then on this page you could add some additional graphics. So you can get pretty creative with it. And We'll cover in another video some additional advanced topics uh, that go into more detail. Uh, S2 Member is very powerful and it has a lot of additional things that you can add in in terms of uh, API constants, conditional checks that you can use inside, uh, particularly inside the login welcome page. Uh, and on the membership options page, we're also going to go over in a later video how to add in your PayPal button shortcodes so that you can actually put in uh, or for the, the facilitation of, of completing the checkout process.